Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today, I wanted to play with the MBA Cosmetics bits that I got. So I pulled out both of the palettes that I have yet to use, which oh, that feels crazy. And then I pulled out the two highlighters that I purchased and I have the lipstick right here, which I was going to use, but I was looking at these palettes and swatching them and kind of was thinking maybe I would do a look that wouldn't necessarily go with a red lip. So this is the Enchanted Garden palette and it's beautiful. Like, holy moly, the color story is gorgeous. I don't think it's anything like revolutionary. I think we've all seen it, but it's really pretty. And then we have the Romance palette. Now both of these are probably meant to be spring, spring themed palettes, but you know me, I am fine wearing whatever eyeshadow, whatever time of year, I don't care, but I do genuinely think I can easily get something very fall out of these palettes. So I thought I would use them together. It would be a 24 pan palette, which is definitely large, slightly larger than what I love, but um, you know, I think it's doable. And I also think we probably have a lot of these shades in our collections already and maybe different formulas, maybe the same. I don't know, but I wanted to play with them. Like I mentioned when I hauled this stuff, I did really like the Cosmic Bubbles palette from MBA. So um, I painted my nails real quick with my MBA nail polish and just put on some fall themed water decals and called it a day. So let's just get into playing with these eyeshadows. At the moment, I'm thinking I want to keep this very like burgundy-ish. I was torn, torn between burgundy, the greens, or both with like a cut crease. But I think, I think I'm going to go burgundy. So I'm going to use the shade called Keepsake right down here. Possibly some of this one, the dark brown called Tree of Life. And then from the Romance palette, we have some of the more burgundy shades. That's Flirtatious. Um, rose Petals, which seems to be more of a satin shade. And then of course, there's the, the lighter blending out like Chemistry and in the Enchanted Garden, there is Tulip Tree right here. And then over here we have a sort of darker burgundy-ish called Whimsical. So lots and lots of options. I think overall probably a pretty simple eye look, but I'm excited to tuck in. So that's what I'm doing. Gonna go in first with that darkest shade called Keepsake from the Enchanted Garden palette as kind of my outer corner. It's definitely like a, a warmer reddish toned brown, which is exactly what I need for this part. I'm so excited for playing with these. I mean, I, it's the end of September when I'm filming this and no idea when it's going up, but probably soonish. And I've not used so much of the makeup that I ordered because there's just not enough time, not enough days, not enough eyelids. And I, I wear my makeup. I don't very often put on makeup to wash it off and do more. I just don't love, I don't know. I don't love doing that. It feels not fun to me. And I have a couple of times done that to create a multiple looks video, 
And I find that if I know going into it, I'm not going to wear it. I tend to not care as much and I feel like I don't put quite as much effort or whatever into the look and that feels really not good. So yeah, I don't, I don't wash it off or I don't put it on with the intention of washing it off right away. I want to wear my makeups. All right. They're not even yet, but it's okay. On that same brush, we're gonna go into the Enchanted, no Romance, the Romance palette, into the Flirtatious shade, which is that kind of dark burgundy matte. And we're just going to put that all along the edge of that keepsake shade. <laughs> yeah, see the, the shade, they just go together so well. And I'm noticing that these blend beautifully and build up really nicely as well. So that's very cool. I definitely didn't, you know, blend out anything yet. We're just whacking it on and mapping it out. And then I'll figure out the details and the blending after. Right now, this is working pretty well. So pretty. I think I'm gonna use chemistry as my blending out shape. Let's just see how that goes. Hmm, maybe a tulip tree. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the tulip tree. I feel like that's just the right tone and depth for the blending out part. Okay, not that brush though. <laughs> I'm going to use my Refer 13. Slightly used, but cleaned off, of course. And we're just gonna blend that all through and see how this turns out. There's a bit of a line right here. Was that me? Is that the eyeshadow? I'm gonna blend and <laughs> figure it out, but I really do think those two shades work well. The flirtatious and the Tulip tree. Do you know what a tulip tree is? I'm gonna have to Google that when I'm done. Because I've never heard of it. I know what tulips are, of course, but. I just had a thought. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Flirtatious on a a different brush, the Sydney Grace E04. And I think I'm going to put that all over. Yep, I think that's the new plan. And we're gonna blend it out here too. <laughs> which was what I meant to do to begin with, but then I got distracted by a new idea. Sheesh, ma'am. They are blending beautifully. It will take a bit of back and forth to make it work really well, but I feel like that's just kind of the way it is. I spend a lot of time blending most of my eye looks. Okay, now I'm going to go back into Tulip Tree and on the edge of that burgundy and a little bit on my skin, just kind of 
make sure everything is softened and blended and looking the way I want it to. Probably go back in over here with some of that first shade we used to deepen it up a little bit, but we'll see. I shall burn that bridge when I get there. Okay, back in with a bit of flirtatious just through here. Make sure everything's blending. Ooh, Puppers has an opinion about this as well. No, that's cat. That's cat. Okay, back in with the other brush to blend. Okay, my idea for like the new plan is to go into Rose Petal, which is that shade I thought was more of a satin, and just put that all over my lid and up into my crease transition area a little bit. This is just a little bit deeper, but so close to the same shade. Oh yeah. Oh, and I'm getting a boatload of fallout, but my face isn't done. I couldn't remember, didn't know how these eyeshadows would behave. So I figured a naked face was the way to start this. And I tend to just forget to be careful, you know, which I guess if I changed my ways and really started paying attention, I could, in fact, do my makeup after I get, or before I got my eyes on, but I like the not fussing about it portion of the program. So I'm going to go back in with some tulip tree, just, you know, more blending, 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 blending. Does seem to be a bit of a line there. Maybe I use. I'm gonna go into a bit of chemistry. I'm not entirely sure why, but I feel like that might be the move. A little bit more. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the flirtatious, wow, and just run it over where I can see that line. See if I can't diffuse it a little. It could also be like the ring light being so bright. Because I look straight on, it looks fine. I turn. That's when I can see the line. Can you see it? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let me, let me think for a minute. I'm going to go into the shade Cherub, which is pretty much my skin tone. I just run that along the very edge. And then I'm going to go back in <laughs> with the brush for Tulip Tree. I think that's looking better. So I am going to pop off to the other eye liner, mascara, the rest of my face, and then I'll come back and show you the finished look and see if it ended up working out. All right, um, I'm not quite finished with my face or my eyes because I wanted to do the highlighter with you. So we have two different shades, Coral Glow and Solar Flare. So here's Solar Flare. They're one of those, or they're that kind of like swirly 
um, formula shade, whatever. Um, and then we have Coral Glow. But once you swoosh it all together, it's pretty much a neutral shade. So let's do the inner corner with, well, I'm really bad at remembering names. Solar Flare. I think when I swatched this, it was just a tiny bit darker. So it'll work on the inner corner. That is wow. Okay. Boy, howdy. I did not see that coming. <laughs> That's so pretty and like pigmented. Okay. Wow. Let me clean that off and we'll use the other shade on the very lower inner corner. Yeah, they're very, very similar. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, let's put some on um, my cheekers. So we'll go in with the lighter of the two. The coral glow, maybe? Solar flare? I don't know. <laughs> I'll look to be sure which one it is. So that one is coral glow. I was right. Let's try solar flare on this side just so we can see if there's enough of a difference to make it worth it or if they are super duper similar. I got these on sale, so, or clearance, I think. So there we have Solar Flare and Coral Cove. I can't see what you can see, so uh, I won't really know. I think in the mirror, this side looks a little bit more gold and this side looks a little more pink, but that's that. Let me whack on some mascara and I'll give you an up close at the eyes and we'll wrap this. All right, let me scoot you in for an up close at the eyes. I used that kind of satin shade on my lower lash line and then I used the tulip tree on just like blend that out and on the inner corner. Uh, it wasn't that one, it was this one. Yeah, the rose petal shade right there. It's so pretty, I really like it. And it's, I mean, it's mostly matte, which is the tiniest little bit of a sheen. Okay, first look, first impressions, so good. I mean, if it doesn't look amazing, that's me, not the eyeshadows. I really, really like this. And now I, don't, I have to use the greens. So I'm gonna do that, but I am using the Cosmic Brushes Undergrowth Palette as well. So there's going to be a bit of green heavy content coming up. <laughs> but, and I really, really like the highlighter too. Oh, I should do my nose and cupid's bow. Let's go with the like the pinkier one for my nose, although it looks gold. And then the other one, that one's definitely more gold. Let's put a little through my brow. They're very, very pigmented. Um, did I have a brush? That's like, that's interesting to me. I think a lot of times there's no real pigment to highlighters, but I think this could be a beautiful eyeshadow too. So good. Okay, real quick on my face, not anything new at all. I'm using the Juvia's Place concealer, the Ulta uh, loose powder in light, medium, cool. My finishing powder is the Sephora 
light neutral, it's 30 sand. My bronzer is the Ulta threesome that I got, the Santorini Sun. I was using the blush as my blush, but it wasn't really blushing. I didn't want anything wild and crazy because the eyes are a lot. Um, so I thought that might work, but it was a little bit too light. So I pulled in my Buxom Dolly. I mean, it's perfect. Not too much, not too little. Perfect. Love, love, love that. My lip is a Juvie's Place Liner in Cola. There was a time there when I was using that like constantly in the er, Unearthly Dreamy lipstick. I think that's everything. So I really like this look. I like the eyeshadows. I definitely want to play more. Very much looking forward to it. Let me know if you've used any of the MBA eyeshadows or these two palettes specifically. They're gorgeous. Like, so pretty. And again, in spring, they're going to make soft, lovely eye looks. Ugh, so good. I think that's everything. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.